to the Daisy first poem. Written 1802 by William Wordsworth. Her divine skill taught me this, that from everything I saw I could some instruction draw, and raise pleasure to the height through the meanest object's sight. By the murmur of a spring, or the least boughs rustling, by a daisy whose leaves spread shut when Titan goes to bed, or a shady bush or tree, she could more infuse in me than all nature's beauties can in some other wiser man. G. Wither. His Muse. In youth from rock to rock, I went, from hill to hill in discontent of pleasure high and turbulent, most pleased when most uneasy, but now my own delights I make, my thirst at every rill can slake, and gladly nature's love partake, of thee, sweet daisy. The winter in the garland wears that thinly decks his few grey hairs, spring parts the clouds with softest airs, that she may sun thee, whole summer fields are thine by right, and autumn, melancholy white. Doth in thy crimson head delight when rains are on thee. In shoals and bands, a morris train, thou greetest the traveller in the lane, pleased at his greeting thee again, yet nothing daunted, nor grieved if thou be set at naught, and oft alone in nooks remote we meet thee, like a pleasant thought, when such are wanted. Be violets in their secret muse the flowers the wanton zephyrs choose, proud be the rose, with rains and dews her head impearling, thou livest with less ambitious aim, yet hast not gone without thy fame, thou art indeed by many acclaim the poet's darling. If to a rock from rains he fly, or, some bright day of April sky, imprisoned by hot sunshine lie near the green holly, and wearily at length should fare, he needs but look about, and there thou art. A friend at hand, to scare his melancholy. A hundred times, by rock or bower, ere thus I have lain couched an hour, have I derived from thy sweet power some apprehension, some steady love, some brief delight, some memory that had taken flight, some chime of fancy wrong or right, or stray invention. If stately passions in me burn, and one chance look to thee should turn, I drink out of an humbler urn a lowlier pleasure, the homely sympathy that heeds the common life, our nature breeds, a wisdom fitted to the needs of hearts at leisure. Fresh smitten by the morning ray, when thou art up, alert and gay, then, cheerful flower. My spirits play with kindred gladness, and when, at dusk, by dews oppressed thou sinkest, the image of thy rest hath often eased my pensive breast of careful sadness. And all day long I number yet, all seasons through, another debt, which I, wherever thou art met, to the amowing, an instinct call it, a blind sense, a happy, genial influence, coming one knows not how, nor whence, nor whither going. Child of the year, that round dost run thy pleasant course, when days begun as ready to salute the sun as lark or lever it, thy long lost praise thou shalt regain, nor be less dear to future men than in old time, thou not in vain art nature's favourite.